this is where we're up to now. Starting the reassembly process. As you can see, the paintwork's done. I don't know if the camera's actually picking up. It looks pinker in the camera than it does in real life. It's the Honda Red, which is a lot better than the mad purple that was painted. Now this is the repair section of the frame. Uh, here, up here and here. Uh, unfortunately I lost the footage of actually welding that but what I did was cut out the old, you would have seen it in the photographs, cut out the old metal until uh, I got to the good stuff and then I plated it with a heavier metal than what was in the frame so it should be nice and strong. Also replicated it at the back here. It's too dark to really see it but it's replicated at the back and I've stone chipped it so it should be pretty durable, protected. Um, just a wee tip for anybody who's buying one of these is to really thoroughly check the back end. Um, but it doesn't matter how experienced you are. This part here did feel a bit iffy when I bought it and I was a bit dubious about it. Um, but it was cleverly concealed with filler. So, as I say, give it a good check. These are the parts that tend to rot. This bit, surprisingly, is excellent. And the, these are normally the, the bit, this is normally the part that goes first. And then if this frame here, if, the, if these get so bad, they're really scrap. Well, they're pretty dangerous if uh, you're going to try and repair something that's too far gone. However, this one was saveable. Um, so the electrics here, we've had to add in a few little extra connectors here and tidy it up. The electrics are a bit of a mess on it. Also replaced both of these. Uh, there was two on it, but the, there were two left-hand indicators. So there was a left-hand indicator here. So the drain hole was at the top, and it looked didn't look right. So uh, best to change it. Um, so the wiring has been repaired up in here. There's a new sleeve been put on it, and some repairs down here. Uh, the worst part really is the back end back end loom, if I can find it here. The back end loom has got these horrible connectors. I really don't like these connectors, these DIY bullet things. Um, so the plan here is to remake this loom. And it goes from here up over around the back. And I'll make it using the correct colours and the correct Japanese connectors as well. Uh, there's nothing worse than coming to a bike and looking at the wire diagram and if the wires are all wrong, the colours are all wrong. It just gives you a nightmare. So I'll make sure that they are all correct. Uh, paintwork, I'm relatively happy with it. Uh, always more and worse critic when it comes to these things. Each paint job I do, I try and make the latest one the best one. Um, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good. It's you know even if I say so myself, it's it's decent enough. Uh, so the next steps will be to finish the wiring start getting the rest of the chassis together, the wheels, the brakes, etc. Still a few little bits and bobs to get for it. But overall it's coming on pretty well. And hopefully uh, the next video shouldn't be too long with a bit more progress. So thanks for watching. Any questions please put them in the comments. I'll answer anything I can. Okay, thanks again. Bye.